hello and welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn enum or innovation and how to create enum in swift so let's start open up your xcode and for this video i created a playground and name it enum so you can create one for yourself so how to create enum in swift so for this we have a keyword enum here enum here the next line it comes the name of your enum like direction then curly braces start and open so each enum has some cases so for that we can create case north let's make it small okay north so you can either write it off in single line so you can if you want to write it in single line then you can case north comma then south comma east and comma and then west so if you want to create like this then you can create like this or either you can create one more style way you can say style or way to create so we can say traffic signals and for this we can get case red light case green light case yellow light or case no light or you can say no signal so these are the two ways you can create enums okay so how to use enums then for light say print here we say direction is equals to equals to direction dot north and similarly we will print our signal and here signal is equals to traffic signals dot green light so here you can see right on your right off side that direction is equals to north and signal is equals to green light so so this is printing a string value because we gave it a string and by default each enum has two values each enum has two values associated number one row value and number two hash value why default this is the default this is the default so hash value is by default associated and you can also make enum and use row values so here this is the hash value so if you say hash value it's it is int and here it is you can say hash value so here it's a zero and one because here green light is at first index whenever you create enum the first case is given a zero value so here one two three so if i print no signal then you can see it will print three so here you can see that signal is 3 so these are the default values so you can also provide your own values so for that you can have you have to give here equals to equals to 10 and here equals to equals to 1 or if you don't want to start what here whenever you give it a value here you can see the enum case cannot have a raw value if enum does not have a row type so for this you have to specify that what the data type of the enum so you can you can define only th four types that it's int float character or 
string so only these int float character or string only these are allowable and so you can create the other row value like this so now here for traffic signals 2 we need int and now let's see what it's print so here it prints direction is equals to 0 and press signal is equals to 3 because this is we are printing hash value you can't change hash value you have only change row values so in order to print our desired value so we can use row value and here you can see direction is printing the value 1 so if I change direction to suppose 10 so here you can see now direction will be 10 here right here so here you can also provide the custom values to your enum like this suppose I want it 20 and here it is 30 and west is equals to 40 so here green light is equals to suppose red light is 1, green light is equals to 6 and yellow light is equals to coming and no signal is equals to 0 so I can provide my own values so here if I run so you can see here the traffic signal no signal points only 3 because hash values are the default values that are assigned so to use my custom value I have to use row value here and here you can see the no signal is 0 and if I print the yellow light here so here it prints 2 so here this is enum and how you can uh, how you can assign row values to your enum and how you can use it so these are very useful because suppose if I have a variable di uh, di direction is I set it as the dir and it's coming from server and it has as it is direction south so if then south has value 20 so <coughs> if I'm not using enum then I have to use it like this let me make it more space so if dir is equals to equals to 20 then I have to write some line of codes line of codes as my direction is coming south so now what it's not clear that what it, the IR is specified with 20 if I know that the 20 is assigned to south direction then I guess that it's the south direction but if I don't know that 20 is assigned to south direction and so I didn't clarify that is it a south direction or what what is dir so i have to jump more into my code so rather than doing this what we can do we can use direction enum and direction dot south dot row value and if this is then we can use us and here we can print that south direction and it's more readable that if dir is equal to south means direction dot south that this is south direction is coming or I can make it more like this so if direction is equal to direction dot south so that means that is more readable that it's a south direction and if it's not or uh, let's change it here and make it 10 so it will not print then the, the south direction because the direction for south is 20 the value of direction for south is 20 so here you learn how to create enum there are two ways to create enum here and this is the row value if you want if you want to use row value of your enum then you have to make it a row type and specify a type you can only assign int float character and strings to your enum and here you can see that hash value this is default and row value you can also make your row value and assign the custom values to your enum and it's very easy 
to write down and make your code bug free and more readable to other users too or other developers too so this is all about enums in swift so if you like our video then please give it a thumbs up and do share this video and if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please subscribe it as we are bringing more videos on swift in coming weeks thanks for thanks for watching and have a nice time here bye for now